Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, MHA Customs. I'm Amanda, if you are new here, if not, welcome back. In case you guys don't know, MHA um, stands for my husband's name and my first name. So his name is Myron, that's where the M comes from. My name is Amanda, that's where the A comes from. And J is for our last name, Jackson. Just to let everyone know where MHA um, comes from. And then we just put customs at the end of that because we make some of everything, okay? From tumblers, to t-shirts, to mugs, Okay, so let's get into this video. Wash test. I did the first wash test using the HTV Romp for Dark Fabric. Okay, this is sublimation, you guys, and they held up pretty good. This is the first one, and this is the second image right here, and they still look great, okay? Now, I washed them in cold water inside out with some other laundry that I had. So I did that because I wanna answer a few questions that people keep asking us. How do we make the shirts? How do we take care of the shirts? So it's simply sublimation ink pressed on the HTV Ron vinyl. This is the matte one, okay? And I did do a video on the glossy one. I just forgot to wash the t-shirt with the glossy image on there because it was in the office and it literally slipped my mind. So anywho, with these dark, fabric t-shirts this image I use our workforce our Epson workforce 7720 printer that we converted into sublimation using the Cosmo ink okay so this is sublimation ink that we use it's not regular ink it's not ink it's not we're not using an inkjet printer this is strictly sublimation ink okay now I have two different printers, and this is why I'm making this video because I wanted to touch bases on a couple questions that people keep asking. What printer do you have? I have two different ones, and if you guys have been following, you guys know that I've used the 7720 Epson printer as well as the Eagle Tank 8550. So today, because I wanted to make this video for you guys, I went and printed out this image using the, this is an old cotton t-shirt that I have that I practice on in case, you know, I'm I'm not sure about a design. So this is the image I printed out using the Epson Eagle Tank 8550, using the Hippo sublimation ink. Not the regular ink that comes with it, sublimation ink, sublimation ink, okay? So for these two images, you guys, this was a firm press and it came out fine. This was a light press and it came out fine. And the reason I did these tests right here is because a few people are getting blue smear ink. Now, I've wrecked my brain trying to figure out what could be the reason that this is happening to some of you guys. And I'm telling you now, it has not happened to me yet. It has not happened on the light white cotton shirt. It didn't happen on the dark um, t-shirts you guys seen I made. So if I were you guys, I would reach out to the company that you purchased um, your vinyl from and I would request a refund. I did, however, go back and look at all the reviews that were under this uh, vinyl that I purchased right here off of Amazon. This is the matte one, again, matte vinyl, okay? And there was two people on there that had an issue with the way their images came out. And all I can say is I did see one person on there that showed an image that had some blue like ink smeared across. And again, I would reach out to the company and let them know what's going on and ask for a refund and maybe perhaps reorder you a different batch. But again, make sure you're using the proper products to make this, to make these designs, okay? This is sublimation ink, you guys. It's not regular ink. It's not just a image you can print off of your regular office printer. It's not that. You have to convert these printers into sublimation in order to get these designs to work, okay? And this was a firm press, all right, you guys? These were firm press, and again, this one was a firm press, and I did this one as a light press, and they both came out fine. So I apologize to the people out there who are having issues with this product and the designs and how, you know, they're turning out. Um, I've had had some fails on some products off of Amazon. I did have some fails on the uh, graduation stoles, and I'm only telling you guys this story because it may not be you. It just may be the product, if you understand what I mean. I ordered some sublimation stoves sometime last summer. And let me tell you, I ran through all 20 of the sublimation stoves and none of them 
turned out right. I was having blotchy spots, like some of the, on the stove, some of the images did not take. And it would be like, I don't know, it was like it wasn't coated right, right there or whatever with the sublimation product that they used. So I turned around and ordered another batch from a separate company and I had no issues. So that whole time I'm thinking, what am I doing wrong? And it was never me, it was the product. So that's all I'm trying to tell you guys. It may not, it may not be you, it just may be that product, okay? So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was very informative, you guys. And again, I have two different sublimation printers that we converted and I had no issues. Two different types of ink and I had no issues on dark or on the light fabric. All right, so I, I hope this video kinda, you know, like helps you guys and realize that it may not be you. It's the product probably, okay? So please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Stay blessed, all right? Bye. <laughs>